In a previous video, I showed you how to use this drone, keep it safe and secure using an Evoc FR E-Ride Tour backpack when out mountain biking. It allowed me to easily take a drone with me and ride and fly. However, when it comes to solo riding, there's a challenge to deploying a drone. Where do you put the controller? Can't stuff it in your backpack with the drone in the air, and you can't carry it when both hands are full with handlebars rattling down the trail. So, do you leave it behind with the aim to go and pick it back up after recording? Well, that wastes time and drone battery. Hiking up that trail a few times gets a bit tedious to say the least, and it's probably not the best idea to leave your controller out of reach for that amount of time, just in case your drone starts misbehaving. But I have a solution to this conundrum, and it's these guys. These guys work for a solo bike packer, and the solution came in the form of these popcorn bags from Merit Gear. These bags, handmade in Amsterdam, Holland, were recommended by Mark, the solo bike packer. He's been using a custom version of these bags to carry either his drone or his DLSR camera for a few years now. The guys at Merit Gear can make custom versions of these or other bike bags to suit your needs. Now, before I go any further, this is not a sponsored video. It's just that when I received these two popcorn bags, I was impressed at how well they were made. The bags features and the fact that the bags each came with a mix of straps and Velcro options to suit your mounting needs was quite impressive. These bags are the standard size, which are the default you would order off the website. You can either order one or two. Unlike these bags already in the bike here, where you have to do the best what, what you can and what you're given, which on the most part is okay, but Merit Gear has given you the options to best suit your rig, and it's a very nice touch. So I thought I'd share it with you in this video. Now let's take a closer look at these bags. Now the material I've chosen is waterproof, but the stitching and that around it make the whole bag water resistant. They've got this fantastic, Fit lock magnetic connector. I've never seen one before, but it's really easy to use, and that's going to be a real bonus touch. Now you open up, it's cavernous inside, there's no other compartments. But what I really do like is these little flaps on the side to tuck out the way and keep the ink contents dry. Should you know the lid, like it is right now, a bit wonky down the side here, we've got option of two loops to adjust on the bike and the further two loops down here, going around to the back. This is the retaining strap going through the forks. And up here we have various options for Velcro. Now there's four loops up here to move these along the side. And as you can see, I've got this one on the left-hand side of this bag. On this side of the bag, depending on your orientation, I expect this would be on the outside. You've even got a little mesh net here to hold bits and pieces. And they're quite lightweight too. On Merit Gear's website, you get a choice of colors or materials for different panels on this bag. You get up to choice of four colors and four variations on the panels, all customizable. I've chosen this LS42 light skin gray color, and I think it re looks really the part. These two bags cost me 99 euros plus 18 euros postage, which considering the cost of some of the other bags I've got on my bike, the non-options available as to how to fit, I think these bags are very good for what you get. With the bags fitted to the bike's Outkick Confucia handlebars, you can see how this would work. The bags are fastened here with Velcro loops and a quick release strap that I have looped through the fork bridge when pulled tight keeps the bags very stable with little movement. Now I've also positioned the bags such on the handlebars so when the handlebars are turned, those bags are not squashed against the bike frame. This is the drone, it's a DJI Mini 4 Pro. And you can see I've left the protection guard on, very important when stuffing it in the popcorn bag. And with all the propellers secure, it pops into the bag like so. Here is the drone's controller out of its case. Close it all up and we're ready to ride and fly. So imagine now I'm out of my bike on the trail and I've come up to a point on the trail and I would now like to ride and record with the drone. With these popcorn bags, I want to reduce that barrier to doing any spontaneous let's film this or wouldn't it be good to film this right now moment. That is because I associate a value with each shot that I take. With each shot, 
am I adding something meaningful to the video versus the time it has taken the setup and the loss of riding time? This cost often means I leave the drone or the GoPros in their bags, but always mindful of the fact that not having enough footage or a variation in that footage makes it difficult to make a video. Now the cost is reduced with these popcorn bags. The efficiency of deploying a drone has gone up many times, allowing me to do many deployments of a drone out on the ride. Now note the controller's knob restraint. This stops the knobs being moved off center when in the popcorn bag, and so affecting the drone's ability to follow me. Where with that, I can pack up the drone, being sure to put the gimbal's protector back on, pop it back in the popcorn bag, ready for another tube drone flight. When not using the popcorn bags for drone and controller carrying duties, you can always use the popcorn bags for carrying your snacks. So to wrap it up, I think these popcorn bags are going to be a great addition to my bikepacking adventures. And like I said, I think they'll greatly reduce the barrier to getting more drone footage while minimizing the disruption. If I'm not carrying drone, these popcorn bags will be ideal for carrying the 360 degree camera, GoPros and tripods. I'll leave a link to the Merit Gear website in the video description below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then do please hit that like button as this tells YouTube you liked it and that helps this video out, this channel out a lot. And be sure to hit that subscription button and turn on notifications so not to miss future videos. Keep well, keep safe and I'll catch up with you guys next time.